the photo that was released yesterday yes. is just a, a key example of them trolling us because that whip on the desk with his little red book placed handily on it is one of his, you know, it's probably as intelligent as a, an ex fireplace salesman can get to, um, you know, assign to say, you come after me and I'm coming after you. And this was endorsed by Cummings. Johnson's on all he hasn't got a clue. And it's just saying, we're trolling you. We don't care. And 2024, to be honest, we're not, we've given up on that. So the, I, I mean, normally I'd accuse you of wearing a tinfoil hat, but for the gazillionth time this week alone, I, I'd remind everybody we are not in normal time. So Gavin Williamson was chief whip. The chief whip Indeed. does know where almost all the bodies are buried. Anything that, that happened on Theresa May's watch as prime minister that was potentially scandalous would have crossed his desk. And your, yep. your suggestion is that the whip is there to remind people that he was the chief whip and the, the red folders are there to remind people that he's got he's kept the receipts he, he knows where the bodies are buried and here is a very powerful pictorial reminder that the, that hell hath no fury like a secretary of state scorned brackets especially <laughs> when the secretary of state used to be chief whip close bracket indeed why, on a day of your worst performance, would you put up such a sanctimonious, or horrible-looking photo um, other than to send what would be only veiled by... I like very this. I like this. <laughs> Can I, I'm just going to consult with my colleagues, with my learned friends on this. Keith, I quite like this idea. I mean, because you know what we've said since March, is that in the absence of clarity and leadership, anything can move into the vacuum. So unless Gavin Williamson comes out and tells us why he's got a blooming great bullwhip on, the, on his desk... We're going to go with Mark's suggestion that he's, he's, he's sort of sort of nice, uh, nice career you've got there, Prime Minister. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Mr Cummings. Mr Cummings. Yeah, well, I, listen, I, I hope that you're bonkers, but I haven't got the evidence to prove it.